how did you think the game went? Uh, we play. I think we are nothing to fear from tonight. I, with the way the last few games have gone throughout the season, I don't think we've anything to fear playing against them. I think once we started, we got a good control of the game and we got stuck into them. And we weren't like laying back a bit. We kind of got straight stuck into them and showed them what we could do. You know, nothing to really fear from out here. Absolutely. What, what about yourself? Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's always great to to, to be our bitter rivals. Um, the wage we're their multi wage budget it's multiple of our wage bu budget, and we have all the heart. They look afraid. Yeah. Our boys look confident. Keith Buckley was brilliant tonight. Now we hung on the second half. We should have put them to bed. We should have got the second, but geez, I'll take it. I'll take it all day long. Yeah, and just kind of what were your thoughts on like when the first red card? Do you think okay, we we'll, we have them here, type of thing, or were you thinking okay, we'll just we'll keep it tight. See how we go on from there. What what were you kind of feeling when uh, Trevor Clark got sent off? I think it was one of them. Yeah, in my head, I was like, right, they're down to ten men, but I think it was like we need to keep the way we're going and kind of put kind of put a bit more pressure on them at the back. And there was a few chances where we needed to get just as many people up as we can, especially with crosses going into the box and all. Like I think it was one of one of them where yeah. <laughs> you need to, with that lack of defenders, like, you need to push on and like catch him on the counter as much as we could yeah. I, think I, we, I, I felt we needed to push on as soon as they went down to 10 I felt we needed to hit them before half time I said we needed to get that goal mm. and we did and they looked rattled then they, and it changed the whole complexion of the game we needed to get that goal straight out to 10 men and you know um, you've seen it so, so often the, the, the matches are so tight now in the League of Ireland that it's just a five minute salvo from a team can make all the difference Rovers done it to Cork and they've done it to a few other teams but well, James Talbot actually said it about UCD the other night that if yeah. they had scored the goal maybe the first Absolutely. goal it could have been a totally different yeah, game yeah it was, a, it was a bit like the UCD game you know um, well I thought we were probably on top more so in this first half but in the UCD game we were UCD were on top and then you know we got that goal and the, and the game changed it's like that in the league of Ireland. there's so many tight matches so the first goal was crucial you know you could see our, our boys growing in confidence and you could see their fellas the heads going down you know yeah well actually i watched the replay of the um alleged handball he actually hits him in the face yeah, yeah. Uh, so he was unlucky to be sent off to be we, fair but you just won't care about we that we heard that yeah i, I it's I, I I was just saying it to Dara here. I, I hope you'd only have seen it in slow motion. Yeah, I I hate to see I hate to see big matches um, with with a dodgy referee's decision. But I tell you, I thought Danny Grant was true on goal. I thought that was inside the box. Yeah, just on him though. What what did yeah. you think of his performance? Because uh, myself and Connor, we actually thought that he was probably Bowes man of the match. I was surprised yeah. that he came off just after the hour man. He, he, well, when when they lost Clark, a left back and they lost Grace he got a, he had a lot more room out there and he had lo loads of space out there and he ran at them he's one thing about Danny he runs at them and he just does it simply gets the ball well, in he, so. he, 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 or he actually like got the two cent off him pretty much yeah he made a great run the ball the, it was a great run in behind the ball made it caught Clark out you know um, it, was a, it was Clark wasn't it left yeah, back yeah, yeah. Trevor Clark so uh, no he had a great game he's a very clever player he's a big big future ahead you know Um I still I look it was a good performance but I still think we could have pushed on and got the second now yeah I was surprised to be honest with that but overall you're happy with the result I just want to kind of answer you, is it kind of accepting this underdog ta tag now or do you actually think that you's, you know are much better than people are giving you credit for because from seeing the results you are getting I mean it was only Cork who's probably beaten you is it Cork, Cork and, and Dundalk Bob. in the last minute <coughs> now we, we, dis we destroyed Dundalk well we we definitely should have got something over, but um, I tell you what, I, I think that's eight or nine clean sheets. I, I said it on another podcast there at, at, at the last derby. We look really good at the back. We look controlled. Keith Buckley just in front of the back four. We have a very good defence. Now I think if we score, Talbot's been a great addition. Talbot's been absolutely fantastic. He, he tell you that 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 lad should be back over in England again you know yeah. I mean there's a lot of I have to say it annoys me sometimes when you hear a lot of pundits raving on about Jack Bourne this that and the other some of the Bowes players they're streets ahead streets ahead of some of the Rovers players I really I really do think that they're better players they just do the simple things well Jack Bourne's a flair player some of the Bowes lads they're just they're just they're just consistent week in week out they win the tackles they lay it off they make the runs they track back and I think I think we should be getting a bit more credit from some of the pundits. For we're not exactly um, we're not exactly wor sorry we're not exactly world beaters. But I tell you what, we we, we give anyone a game. We do the simple things well. We're we, we're a match for anyone this year. And we definitely had them kind of players, especially in the players like Leahy, uh, Levinson. Levinson. He's been a great signing too. He's a 
especially Manu. Like, Manu obviously made he made a couple of mistakes tonight where he could have done better. But he, he is one of them players. He's still growing, but you can see he has a lot of potential in him. And I think that's what we don't get a lot of. Uh, uh, what's the credit? Credit, thank you. Yeah. Credit for it. We have a lot of players like that. Where a lot of them are raving about Jack Byrne at Rovers, and to be honest, I couldn't tell you one good thing Jack Byrne did tonight. I thought he, he wasn't helped by the sentence off yeah. to be yeah, fair he, 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 he'd about two he'd about two or three fellas on him yeah. every time he got the ball yeah. and that's but that's a credit to air lads. Um but yeah I take I take Dara's point there's a lot of there's a lot of Bowes players and they're going under the radar mm. and a lot of pundits are, are going on about some Rovers players and I tell you what, the two suspensions for Rovers gonna gonna hit them badly going in against Dundalk and it's all about momentum. And I tell you what, I don't think we're going to win the league. To be honest with you, I still think Dundalk are the team, the team to beat, to the best team. But I, I, I wouldn't be afraid of Rovers. At all. Well, I watched Dundalk yesterday against uh, UCD, and you know they look like the Dundalk of old. I know they went to a goal down, but after that they were just again streets ahead. Yeah. Um, but just wanted lastly on uh, yourselves, like is is Europe a realistic goal now? I think you'd have to say it. It is. Yeah. Mm. I mean, we're 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 just the, the, the top four. There's us, Dundalk, Derry, Rovers are full and clear you know um, I, 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 I still don't think we're a shoe in for Europe there's a long way to go yet yeah. we can all change in a few matches there's a lot of good teams below us Waterford, Cork but um, we just keep we just keep ticking along nicely we're doing well yeah. you know we've nothing to prove really I mean we're not the one with the big wage budget <laughs> you know I mean we, we I know that that said an awful lot but they're on like the other teams are on three or four times their wage budget we have kids playing and they play for the jersey and it's great to watch so if we get Europe it'd be brilliant but if we don't they, they don't us nothing have you anything to add to that? Uh, as Alan was saying we do we have a lot of young players in there and they do they, you can see it tonight they're playing for the club and it means a lot to them to play for the club it seemed like it at the end when they were celebrating with the fans yeah, yeah. but one thing I don't think we worry about stuff like winning the league or getting Europe I think it's just one game at a time. One game at a time. We're like we're not looking. Yeah, a few of us were singing in there. Like we're gonna win the league, but mm. like that's. Just, I ingest, think that's. Uh, yeah, that's just I enjoying think, ourselves. Yeah, yeah, I think that's just yeah. adding to the atmosphere tonight, and you're putting it towards. I think it's given. It's mainly for the players going. We, right, we're not telling you. Yeah, we're definitely gonna win the league, but I think it just gives the players. We're behind us every game, and, and keep pushing on. And travel the force. Sorry, to be fair. sorry, another point. I just. Mm. This, the boat squad this year, the guys that didn't play tonight, there's fellas that come in all over that park. I tell you, Swan was brilliant up, up front against Dundalk. The, the Andy Lyons, Paddy Cork, Regba. You have a lot of you have a lot of good Paddy, uh, Robbie McCourt, uh, the Scottish chap Allardyce. They're all yeah, good players. Swan. They can all come in and do a job. Sure. We, we've a we've a squad we've a squad we've a squad of players. You know, it's not just the first eleven. We fellas that come in all over, which is very encouraging. You know, so. Well, lads, thanks very much thanks for your time. That was very good. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Love, thanks, mate. Love the videos. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. We're here. Um, so the garage there, just beside Tallis Stadium. I'm here with Katie and Jack. Is Katie or Kate? Yeah. Katie and Jack. Um, delighted. Bows have uh, beaten Shamrock Rovers. One. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the game? It's happened again. It's happened again, isn't it, Jack? Yep. Um, but, but overall, what, what did you think of the game? Um, obviously, the two sending offs worked well in your favour, but uh, overall, how did you think it's played? It got scrappy at the end. It got scrappy yeah. at the end. It was very, very deep at times, but could have been could be a bit more. But overall, it's, it's a win's a win, so you're happy with that, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what did you think of the penalty? I know he missed, but the fact that he scored. Did you think they just were going to go on and dominate, or did you think it was going to stay 1-0? Dominate. Dominate? Well, hope we were well, hoping that we would have dominated. So, uh, I honestly thought that you were going to actually go out and, and batter them in the second half. I, yeah. I thought actually Rover has done well in the second half to put it back up to us yeah, with, with nine men. So they held it for, they held it up to us with two men down. They still held it perfect. Yeah. Uh, have you anything else to add about the game? Anyway, what, what, what do you see going forward now? Are you uh, title contenders? Are you challenged for Europe? We're going for the league. Going for the league? We're going to Europe. Going to, going Europe. to Europe. Well, that's fair enough. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for your Thank time. You. All right. Thank Best. You.